Hi, kids. We're going to read The Magic School Bus Fights Germs. We have fun in Miss Frizzle's class. We go on wild trips. Today we're learning about germs. They can make people sick. Wanda might be sick already. Wanda goes to see the nurse. Is it okay for her to go alone? Keisha asks. We'll go with her. Line up, class, says the frizz. Miss Frizzle shakes her magic keys. Outside, the bus gets small. We get small, too. The bus flies in the window, and we get on. The bus flies into the hall and want, finds Wanda. It lands in her box. It looks just like a cough drop. Wanda reaches in to take one out. Wanda thinks the bus is a cough drop. She puts us in her mouth. We stop at her throat. We see lots of red and white spots. Where did the germs come from? asks Tim. Germs get in bodies through openings like the nose or mouth, the frizz says. They can even come through open cuts. The bus doors open. We get out. The spots are growing all over Wanda's throat, but Miss Frizzle isn't worried. Wanda's body knows what to do, she says. The frizz gives us special clothes. Follow me, she says. She slips into a blood vessel. We go, too. We are in Wanda's blood. Lots of blood cells are floating there. The red cells bring oxygen, DA says. The white ones help fight germs. Outside, Wanda is at the nurse's office. The nurse looks at Wanda's throat. It doesn't look good, she says. You need to see a doctor. Wanda goes outside with the nurse. Wanda's mom comes to get her from school. Get well soon, says the nurse. We'll go to see the doctor, her mom says. We start to feel hot. Wanda is getting a fever. A fever is when your body heats up. Because the white blood cells like it when your body is warmer. Wanda's mom takes her to, the, to Dr. Wilson. The doctor takes some germs from Wanda's throat. Let's find out what these germs are, says Dr. Wilson. Wanda, you have strep throat, says Dr. Wilson. She takes out a pad and writes on it. You need to take an antibiotic, she says. Back inside Wanda, Ms. Frizzle points at the white blood cells. Something is coming out of them. Those are antibodies, Miss Frizzle tells us. Suddenly, we notice something. White blood cells are shooting antibodies at us. They think we are germs. We go back to Wanda's throat. As we get on the bus, our special clothes disappear. Back to school, Miss Frizzle cries. <laughs> Wanda's mom picks up the antibiotic. She gives some to Wanda. You'll feel better once you rest, says Wanda's mom. Wanda's going home, but we need to go back to school. Wanda's mom is driving home. Wanda is asleep. Wanda's mouth is open. The window is open, too. We fly out. <laughs> At school, we make get well cards for Wanda. We don't want her to miss our next trip. The end. Not all bacteria make you sick. Some are helpful. Some bacteria turn milk into cheese and yogurt we can eat. Some bacteria live in our intestines and help us digest food. Vegetables would be hard to digest without bacteria. Some bacteria help break down dead leaves to make soil rich for growing things. Some special bacteria can even clean up oil spills that pollute the land and water, and that's a really big help. The end. Be careful about germs. Make sure you're washing your hands really good and not touching your mouth, and, you know, covering your mouth when you cough and 
and blowing your nose into a tissue, then throwing it out in the trash. And I'll see you at school.